Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2 for Absolute Beginners, and we're picking up right where we left off in the middle of this war with Brittany, and let's see what we can do about them. And why can't Agel be King of Scotland, I wonder? That is disconcerting. There we go, 13,700 troops. Where did those bit where did that big mass of troopage go? I don't know, but let's get across to Dyfed. Where is the river crossings here? Doesn't look like a river crossing anywhere. So just head down here, let's get your morale up, and then we'll smash them. Luckily our our levy isn't raised up too awful bad. We've got some good commanders up there now. It's still 84% war score in our favor. The war is certainly not lost, but we do need to do something about this. I mean, this has to be the entirety of his fleet. Or his his army. It really does. I know we've, we've smashed thousands of troops. There you go. Why don't we have a guy leading the center? Furness, go ahead. Can we catch this guy? That is the question. Catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Where are you? We might just be able to siege something down. Did they run off? Yeah, they are hightailing it. Fine, can we just siege something down down here real quick? Maybe these uh, extra holdings for more war score before they can siege something down themselves seems like a legitimate thing to do. There we go. Let's just assault this. It's mainly mo made up of mercs, but we should be okay. There you go. Smash it. Next. Ten days. Five, four, three... Two, one, smashy smash. My spy master is planning retribution against Earl Appen. Earl Appen of the Hebrides. Sure, order the arrest. Why not? There goes the assault. 100 war score. This war is done now, thankfully. Enforce those demands. County of Gwynedd is now ours. Let's stand everybody down. And let's get our bearings together. Now, we do not... We have two unlanded sons. And we're over our domain limit, so one of these guys is definitely fit to hold Gwynedd for sure. Since it's in a mess. Grant a landed title. We want the county of Gwynedd. There you go, good son. So now we're at our... Our limit here. The Kingdom of Scotland is going to go away... Can I destroy it? 400 prestige. All de jure vassals of the Kingdom of Scotland will be upset. Well, we can't lose something that we don't have. There you go. Now there is no Kingdom of Scotland. How about that? And you know what? What else are we the king of? King of Wales? That's going to give us claims, though. I'll keep Wales around. Just for those claims. But you know what? We are going to hold on to that. That is fine. Duchy of De Huebarth. From Finchesta. We can usurp it. We, we control 100%. 154 gold, sure. We'll do that. Let's see. Offer vassalization. False religion won't do it. Maybe that was a mistake. I thought I could usurp it. Like, take it myself. Oh well. We just got claims on this guy. We've got the de jure claim on Dyfid. We can just go. Alright, let's sort all this out. Prince Urcade. What all do we own? I imagine we own way too many duchies. So we can uh, divvy those out just a bit, I think. What is our most worthless duchy? Canoct? We own one of those. How about 
The Isles. Just the Isles? Yeah, let's just give up the Duchy of the Isles to our unlanded son, Prince Arcade. Duchy of the Isles. I guess that would be the Hebrides. But once again, I can't give that up. Interesting. Leinster de Huebarth. Okay, I see. So de Huebarth was just this. And when I gave it up, it went to an independent guy? And why are we the false religion? Holy crap. Can we convert? Is there a way that we can talk to the Pope? Holy crap, look at all the factions. Duke Dogan, Duke Scotland, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, Scotland, Scotland. They don't have any power. Can we abandon the heresy? 500 prestige, 250 piety. Yes. We will abandon the heresy. Now, will you become my vassal since we are... Well and good. Still not. Power and opinion. We can increase his opinion. Let's send him a gift. 38 gold. There you go. Now will you be my vassal? He will. There you go. Welcome. How about you? Offer vassalization. Not going to do it. Foreign culture, you say. How about I send you a gift of 34 gold? Now will you do it? Still not going to do it because of the foreign culture. He is Anglo-Saxon, West Germanic. Okay, so we've got a little bit there. Outstanding. Now, unlanded son, Prince Arcade. If we own a county, that isn't good. Dublin, Connacht, Leinster, Thoman, the Duchy of Connacht, Duchy of Meath, that's Dublin. Hmm. So we can raise 7,000 troops by ourselves. I'm trying to figure out what good uh, piece of land to give away. Because our bet, our vassals are ticked because we hold too many duchies. Yeah, we need to give some duchies away. That'll increase everyone's opinion and get them all in the red. Or out of the red. So let's give the duchies to some folks in our court that like us. So, Congal, the commander of Ireland, if I grant you the landed title, let's see, county, county, the Duchy of Meath, the Duchy of Connacht, what does the Duchy of Meath look like? That is Dublin and Kildare. Dublin is where we get a lot of troops from. But if we want to right this ship with our vassals and have them really like us, I think we need to give up some duchy titles. Now, can they be the duke and we still rule over it? I don't believe so. Let's try it with another... The County of Ormond. That's fine. Um, what is that duchy? That is in the Duchy of Munster. So let's go to our court. Find someone who really likes us. Grant... We kind of want it to be a family member, though. Kines, can I award you... No, can't add you to a landed title, but Bressel Mack, the courtier. Grant a landed title. The Duchy of Munster. There you go. So he is in charge of Ormond. That lowered our troop count tremendously. We're going to be relying on vassals a lot. Now, how's our opinion... Destroyed the title. Yeah, those Scottish guys are just going to be ticked at us for a bit. I'm looking at too many held duchies. Yeah. Duchy of the Isles. I want that to go away. I want to give that to somebody. All right. How about the court? The best opinion. The family member. Arcade. Prince of Ireland. Grant you a landed title. The Duchy of Meath? That's Dublin. Duchy of Connacht, Duchy of Leinster. Leinster's where the capital is. Let's go Connacht. There you go. Oh, 
Oh, there's a revolt going on. Scottish lands. We're still their king. It doesn't matter. All right, we need a chancellor. Kinez, you're our chancellor. Steward, Kellogg, you are our steward. Go ahead and collect taxes in our capital, please. Spy master don't like us, and that is pretty dangerous. Can we send you a gift of 79 gold? We can. Let's send you a gift. 44 gold. That's fine. Send everybody gifts. We want to make sure that this is as pleasant as possible. Send a gift to everybody. There you go. Council likes me. All right, let's work on vassals next. The vassal with the lowest opinion who isn't Scottish. Let's work on the Earl of Dyfed. Reigning in Dyfed. That should be our first stop. All right, so Dyfed should be, where is Dyfed? Oh, Dyfed's down here, that's right. Let's send our cancel down there, 68% success. As far as our court chaplain goes, we have two religious vassals. This one is in Dublin. Let's send him there to improve religious relations in Dublin. All right, press, pressing claims for Gwent and Teviddale. We shall. Just give us a minute. Okay, so this should be on the next episode. We can take this back. We're not holding a grand tournament. Minor titles. We have a commander that we can give. Preferably people that don't like us so we can throw them right into the, the mix of battle. And it'd be a shame if they got killed like the Duke of Galway. There you go. You're now my commander. All right. Designated regent. We want the highest rank who likes us. Anton, you are our guy. We're not going to create the Kingdom of Scotland. If we don't, if it, if it's not there, then, you know, nothing happens. Although, does that mean if one of these guys increase their land grab, they create the title of Scotland? Until we can change our laws... To where we get like a seniority or something where it all goes down then I'm not going to create if if I start seeing some some people gaining some land um, I'm gonna have to jump quick and make the kingdom of Scotland so no one else can take it but I mean I'm I'm all their liege yeah, and they can't create a title that is equal to the liege. They have to create the title that is beneath the liege. So it is perfectly fine that we get rid of the Kingdom of Scotland. It doesn't exist. We're the King of Ireland, for crying out loud. Once we get um, Wales done, we'll hold it because we need to hold two king titles to take the Empire Britannia. Okay, working through this. One title can be usurped, the Duchy of Moray. This guy absolutely hates us. Moray, Ross, Buchan, Caithness. You know we are his liege. I don't think that's absolutely necessary. That should be fine. Vassal inheritance warning. Duke Bressel of Munster. So our son will inherit from our grandson. On death, their titles may pass. No, that's, that's like literally our son. I don't know why you're so, uh, so angry about that. One child lacks a guardian. You are all good. No, we don't want to educate him. Might become Catholic. Good. <laughs> do we have any Lollard provinces, by the way? We do. And we just assigned our bishop to do that. So... In October, we'll have them convert uh, these lands here. That should be fine. Revoked Bishop, our son. Outstanding. Our vassals have 11,000 troops. That is pretty stout indeed. All right. So since, they, since we are a king, and these guys cannot create the Kingdom of Scotland without me dropping to a duchy rank, I believe... Duke Tola seeks to fabricate a claim. Can we imprison him? 51%.
What's the plot power? 44. I, he, do, he really doesn't have enough to press it, I don't think. Factions are okay. I think we're at a pretty good stopping point right now. This was a pretty confusing episode with all of the stuff going down. Next episode, we're going to seize Gwent. Um, it'll be really quick, fast, and in a hurry. He can only raise 2,000 troops. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with him in the next episode for sure. Let the, these Scottish uh, vassals fight amongst themselves, and we're going to start looking out for these laws. Once we've reigned for 10 years, which I don't know how long we've reigned for. Um, max crown authority. Hmm. Do any of these require crown authority? Has high. Yeah, we can't drop to, to medium crown authority if we want, like, primogenitor. Which would be the oldest child inherits all titles. That would be pretty awesome. The vassals would have to stop fighting. No vassal or above of a count has negative opinion. Well, that's not going to happen anytime soon. All of these dukes absolutely hate us. How about their heirs? Do they hate us? You know what? They aren't going to be so mad when all of these old dukes die and it passes on. Perhaps they aren't going to be so mad. And this guy's 57. We should be in a pretty good spot. Everything will start trickling down. How about the Kingdom of England? 27,000. You gotta be kidding on me. If we were to go to war at Somerset, must have a valid Cassus Belly. Do we not have claims? Duchy of Gwynedd, Duchy of Galway, Duchy of Moray, Kingdom of Brittany. Is this Brittany? I think it is. Does that mean we can press all titles? Independent, independent, independent. Brittany, declare war. We can only just press on one, unfortunately. Okay. Well, this episode has gone on long enough. Just over one province, the death. But things are going okay. Our heir should be Agil. Or Earl, Earl, Earl Fay. No, Earl Fay is not going to be good. Okay, so we've saved Scotland from being handed over. That's good. Um, we don't need the de jure claims on this little island. I don't care about fighting Norway at all yet. We're set up to take Gwent. We've got claims on poise. I think we're going to be okay. I don't want to usurp that. Bad things happened the last time I usurped that. Send a gift. You're good. I've got money. Be happy. Matter of fact, before I go, let's go over all of these vassals and just uh, send some gifts. Maybe that will uh, increase their opinion enough. Maybe not. Those ones that are like hard up 100%. But we've got the money. We can afford... How big of mercenaries can we hire? 13,000. That's still, like, not enough to deal with England. I hope that they have another revolt. Once they do, we might be able to spring. All right. Let's go through and start paying off some of these guys, especially the, the counts. They should be okay. The dukes will be a, a little bit more expensive. But we've got the money to spend, and we want some positive opinions here. All right, send a gift to that mayor. 76, 76 gold for that mayor. Are you serious? Spend it like it's going out of style. Send gifts. 16. Yeah, the duke only wants 16 gold. That's, that's, that's the eyes of a child right there. Ooh, money. Shiny. Anyway, for reals. Whew, what an episode. But that's going to do it for me in this episode, ladies and gentlemen, of Crusader Kings 2. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next Crusader Kings 2 video. Take care.